On a lazy Saturday afternoon, there I was, reclining on my beanbag, sipping my hot, hot coffee, reading a novel. That is the exact time when the phone went to us. My wife got the phone, she answered it, and she started to have a conversation. Even from a distance, I could make out she was having a very serious conversation. I could hear sounds like, this is not that part of the year. Are you sure? Do you check, call and check? Don't worry, I'll be there in three minutes. She hung the call, she walked up to me and said, this is not done, this is insane, this is total madness, we need to be there. What happened? Why are you so, why are you acting so crazy? That is when exactly she said the four letter word, which starts with S A L E. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yes, the four letter word that, not, not the four letter words that Suhas just said, but this, the other four letter word was say. You guys must be wondering what is, what's the big fuss about say? It's not this four letter word alone that created so much madness. It was the another four letter word which, which which was prefixed, and that folded word was Zara. So what I had just witnessed was somebody had just called my wife and said, Zara's flash sale is on, it, please get there soon. For, for the guys who, who don't know, I belong to an era which was not in the, which was, uh, we didn't have uh, retail, uh, retail outlets delivering garments to our home, we didn't have big million days, so not, 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 not too long ago. So that back then, this was a mega event. This was something that people anticipated for all the year. And, and mind you, the brand was very good. So, so their anticipation was much awaited. So he, having totally understood what Zara's sale meant to me, I was looking for an excuse. I replayed the conversation that just she had just finished. I said, when you say that I will be there in 30 minutes, Tell me, dear, doesn't it essentially exclude the husband element from being there? I thought I made a good point. She was calm, composed. She, she smiled and replied, you know what? This is the sixth month into our marriage. And what that essentially means is you're one third of husband. Fair enough. I had unwillingly, I decided to drive her to the shop. When I entered through the door of that store, I felt something very strange. I felt the world had descended upon that single place and the, 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 the entire human beings living on earth had just walked through the door. I calm my mind. I said, quit, this too shall pass. Don't mind, this will be over soon. While my wife was carefully handpicking uh, clothes that would suit her color, her type, I was wondering what this four letter word meant in my dictionary. The four letter word actually in my dictionary was a literal term. It meant something. going to the mall, buying something you like, sipping a cup of coffee and going back home in one and a half hours. <laughs> the same word in her dictionary meant something different. It was not just a word, an op a subject from art. It was fine arts. And there was also an element of physics to it. Wondering what is physics got to do with shopping? Yes, it has. 20 rotations around the office wear counter, 4 full revolutions and 2 half revolutions around the casual wear counter, unlimited coaxial movement around the footwear counter. This is what physics was all about in the same, uh, during the Zara's sale. I said, it's okay, this too shall pass. I waited, I waited anxiously. I waited, not, not more, but just about 6 hours. And at the end of the day, we had, we had 10 garments, outfits. So when I did the math, not for the bill, but for her strike rate, her strike rate was very close to Sunil Gavaskar's styles. I said, okay, Dhoni will come in a, in a while so, for, from now. And after that Saturday, every single time she wore those hand-picked, carefully selected garment, gar outfit, there was a sense of pride in her. There was a sense of accomplishment in her smile. The child in me grew very jealous. I said, this is not done. I need to do something as well. I need to show off my shopping skills. I need to prove myself. I was waiting for an opportunity. When we were driving back home, I saw the same four letter word, but this time it was associated with another brand which said Alan I said, I'll stop and shop. She gave me a weird look. I said, are you sure? 
said, yes, I will, I'll go shopping. I pulled inside the car parking area. Just, just when we were about to get off the car, I said, you wait here. I'll finish it quickly. She didn't want to do it, but then she said, whatever, do it. I ran to the store. Why running to the store? I had to make a very important decision. A, a decision to decide what to buy. I didn't know. Then I suddenly decided I'll buy two white shirts. I have four of them in my pocket. I said, two, two more. I'll buy two. Two white shirts. I ran to the office wear counter, picked up two shirts, checked my size, and said, okay, it's fine. Then I went to the cash counter, paid for my purchase. I was back at the car. If somebody had timed my sh entire shopping experience, it was roughly about 20 minutes start to finish. So I, I, she was smiling. She grabbed both of uh, my uh, shopping bags, kept it on her lap. With a sense of accomplishment, I was driving home, humming the song. I just turned towards her. She was running fingers on the fabric that I just purchased, and she was smiling. Every time I looked at her, the smile grew bigger. <laughs> There I was, I was contemplating, there was one shopping experience that she had, one shopping experience I had. It should be, it should be, it should be okay. I, I went home, that's when she announced coffee. I said, yes please, while I go try the new shirt. Wearing the new shirt, sipping coffee, I had a life al altering decision. If God is my witness, I will never wear that pink shirt again in my life. Thank you. <laughs>